All right, everybody. We find ourselves back on the limo today. I'm trying to get this thing buttoned up, but there's just a lot, a lot. And when I mean, a, it's a lot. There's, the, it's just every corner. There's just more. Um, yeah, let's just do a real simple little stereo system. And now, you know, we've got four gauge wire coming from the back. We've got speakers everywhere, crossovers. I've got new switches inside that are going in there so that can get all put away. And I got a whole bunch of little stuff left to button up. You know, up here under the hood. Still got a fuse holder. And some of the old under hood saran wrap for the wires there to make it look all nice. And then, you know, we got a front seat that doesn't move back forth up and down. And we also got some power door locks and it don't lock up and down. So I think for now, I'm just going to keep plugging away on the, getting the power wires installed fully. Um, and then, well, I think later we'll make another little piece. I made the amp rack yesterday and got that all installed. Um, figure out exactly where we're gonna put our fuse holder. Well, wouldn't you know? They should bolt up right there just fine. Okay. Uh, time for some hardware maybe? Let's see if we found what we found here is going to work. Of this though, that might improve the situation just a little bit. I go to work every day. I'd say Les. His name is Les. What do you got for me today? I want to learn. That was a hod carrier at the time, mixing mud for masons, carrying rocks. Just a very labor intensive job. And that old guy would always tell me, train your eye, Travis. Train your eye. What the hell are you talking about, Les? Never understood what the guy meant. Until I started doing other things in life, and you know, I need about an inch. Well, you know, just train your eye. You need about an inch. 
I don't know. It seemed really simple once I figured out what he was talking about, but up until that point, I had no clue. Okay, we got ourselves uh, some Ario eBay purchase connectors here. Let's see how this goes. I don't have the proper crimping tool, so um, just gonna improvise like everything else I do around here. punch and I got my little two and a half pound maybe I don't know five pound Tony Harding let's see how this all works here go right on the seam Uh, that's pretty much smashed in there. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I want to use this guy. Let's see. No, I'm going to use this one because it's not going to go over all that. No, I am going to use though. Be right back. The old make it smaller wrap. Let's see here. We'll use about two thirds of a piece. I'm gonna make sure we get it up deep by the terminal. Way up here. We'll cover as much of that copper as we can. Got the trusty flea bay torch. Bing bong, you're done. Make sure you cut your zip ties short, folks. We got our old, uh, every socket in one here. We're gonna make sure we get this off. Get to that German torque spec. Good and tight. Click, 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 click. Yep, good and tight. Needs to go right in there, boys. trained eyeballs there if I'd say so myself and I say so myself we'll use a little bit of the uh, all show no go that I got here will really make her look like a going to town right now
Going nowhere. Perfect. Somebody knows how to weld. Alright. Sweetness. Oh, I even forgot one too. Alpine amp. Does a grown man fit in the back of a limo trunk? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> what do you need? The Alpine amplifier is on top of the truck. Yep. We're going Alpine. power back all right we missed some action already here's already the progress custom welded rack to a custom fitted carpet slight amp malfunction but it's in there now and she's working she's making noise let's go inside give it some volume and now there's music in the limo we be jamming 